welcome back to another video guys so today i'll be showing you guys how to cut and sew this inner placket i've gotten several requests about making this you can see how smooth and slick the results we are having so i'll take you guys back a little bit to the construction so we're going to cut this and do this together after this all you have to do is just to pipe your neck so like subscribe and share this video with your friend let's get straight into the video so here after cutting the borders, this is our borders as you can see. It's just a very simple design, right? So this is the wrong side of the fabric as you can see. So it's just a very simple design. In the front, I just add a pleat at the M, which is at the M of the outfit itself. So let's get straight into the plaquettes now. And the, fa the fabric is actually very nice, right? So, so right here in the front, this is where the design is going to be as you can see. So this way the design is going to be. So the first thing I'm going to do now is to turn it to the wrong side. So here at this side, depending on the depth in which you want your the 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 all of the placket to be, how deep you want it to be. So the, on, on our own here, it's going to be a depth of 13 inches. It's going to be a total of 30. So I'm going to mark 13 inches that place. I'm just marking it for the for a reference as you guys can see so the next thing i'm going to do now is to apply a fusing to the chest so i'll be using a chest gum on this one we call it chest gum i don't know what you call it it's a cotton but it's very light as you can see in my hand so you can just take a screenshot of this and take it to where you want to buy your material so you can see the side i'll be using as a gum right so i'm just going to cut a pieces of this that i'll be putting in the chest so you can see how I'll just tear it out. Just a piece of that. So it's going to be a little bit longer than the, than the main, than the 13 in which we cut out before. You can see that. So I'm just going to cut it out. So at the M, at the M, I'm just going to make it sharp. I'm just sharp. I will just sharpen the M right there. You see that? So I don't want the place to be too bogus, as you guys can see. And I'm going to just, I will place in the gum side that the, the side that has a gum, and make sure it's actually overlap the neck circumference. You can see that place, so you will be able to like trim, trim it out. So I'm just going to iron. For the past sometimes now, we've not been having light. I'll be using generator back to back, and I have a lot of work to do. And I, you guys keep sending me pictures of design that I should do. That's why I'm doing this for you. So make sure you like the video and you subscribe if you get to subscribe. So just iron this down to your fabric. Iron it down. Make sure it's, it's glued to the bodice. I will not advise you guys to use a um, this kind of a, this kind of an iron. If you have electricity, just use a steam iron. But if you don't, you can just go for just this kind of an iron. You guys can see that. So make sure you iron it and it and it's glued to the borders. Take your time and make sure it is glued. That is very 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 important. So you can see what we have that place is not glued enough so you need you need to I, I still need to iron it very well it has to be like very glued to the fabric that you will not be able to differentiate between so after running as you can see you'll not be able to differentiate that glue and the fabric itself you can see so the next thing i'll be doing now is to cut in a piece of fabric that will be used for the turn up so i'm just going to cut something of it's going to be a little bit longer than this which is going to be a total of 14 inches so it should be one inch longer than the than the mark which we have so this is what i'll be using the wideness of this one is going to be four inches as you guys can see and the height is going to be 15 inches so i'll be able to able i'll be able to trim it at the edge so i'll just get the right side of the fabric that's the right side So on this one, you will not need to like add a fusing to this. You're not going to add any fusing to this one. As you guys can see, I'm just going to 
after I get my right side and my wrong side, I will just come back to the front so that I can get a center point. Just to get a center point. So I'm going to fold this backward. So at this side, I'm going to fold this and get my center point. You can see that. Just to be able to get the center point. After getting my center point on this fabric, I will also get the center point on my bodice as well. So on my bodice, I will get the center. You can see that the center point of this one is cleared after the ironing. So I'll just fold it backward like this. Make sure the shoulders are aligned. And I'll simply cut out. I'll simply iron it to get my center point. You can see that. So after getting the center point, the next thing I'm going to do is to place the fabric on it. Make sure the right side is facing the right side of the fabric itself. So I'll place this on the... I'll make sure it overlaps this so that I'll be able to trim out the neck. You can see that. Make sure the align, the center points are both aligned together, as you guys can see in my hand. Make sure they are both aligned together. So I'm going to stitch all the way from the side. So this is our length. So our 13 inches, just marking your 13 inches and stitch it back to the top, right? So after stitching this, what we're going to have, you can see my hand, this is what I'm going to have. So I turn it from the end, from the last part, then I stitch it back to the top. And if you're stitching this place, make sure you're using a very, very tiny stitch. You're using a tiny stitch. That's very important. Let me show you what I mean by that. So. You can see how tiny the stitch I use here. So if you use a larger stitch, it will not be falling off the, of the fabric. So you have to use a very tiny stitch and make sure you hold it down very, very well. That's very important. So the next thing I'll be doing now is to be cutting this. I'm just going to cut this open. So I'm just going to trim out the neck area first. You can see what we have at the back also. So I'm just going to trim out the neck area. Just trim it out. You can see that. So from the neck, I'm just going to... I'm just going to start my cutting from the center. You can see that. Make sure you're not cutting more than the, the the center part because if you cut outside of the bodice, you're going to break the thread. So make sure you're cutting at the center part. You can see that. Can see what I'm doing. You can see that. You can simply just turn it inside so you can see what we're having here. You can see that. You can see the M. All you just have to do now is just to fold it this way. You can see that we are almost getting the results we are having. You can see, so just turn it to the back. I'm just turning to the back like this. You can see what I'm doing. You can see that. 
just take your time to iron that back by balance it well make sure it's balanced so i turn it back to the front so at this place at this back side i want to pay i want you guys to pay attention at this side you're going to iron it to the back you're going to iron it backward so after it fits that side you can simply turn your stitch you can see what i'm having you're just going to take out exactly what you want to pick out at that edge if you want it to be bigger than that you can do you can see how tiny what i'm bringing out is you can see how tiny that is so i'm just going to iron that part down you can see so i'm just going to iron it all the way down you can see that So if you look at it, you can see the tiny tip we're going to have at the edge. You're going to do it all the way to the last M, to the last corner, right? You can see that all the way to the last corner. You can see what we're having. You can see how tiny what you're having. So you're going to do the same thing on the other side also. You're going to do exactly the same thing on this side also. So make sure you're getting exactly the same tiny edge result. It has to be tiny. Exactly the same tiny result. You're seeing that. So at the end of the day, this is what we're going to have. The two sides are going to be like this. Something looking like this. So let me fold that area also. So you can put any under color you want. You can use any color. But on this one, I'm using exactly the same color. So let me iron this and show you guys the result you're going to have. So as you can see, this is what we're going to have totally. You can see how tiny each of the edges are. So if you want it to be bigger than the tiny which we took out, you can make it bigger than that. But this is how I want it to be. And this is the better way. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to is to cut out a piece I'll be using to cover this place up. But first, I will have to put some gum under this, and I have to weave the edges. So first, I'm going to lift it up just like this, as you can see in my hand. So from that, from the top part right here at the exact M, I'm putting a, an M. I'll be using an M gum. So I'm just going to make sure, make sure it eats like the gum actually reach the corner of the of that our 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 tiny our tiny uh, turn up. Yeah, okay, let me use that. Our tiny turn up. Make sure it actually gets inside to that tip. Yeah, that's very very important. The tip of the fabric. So when you iron it, you can see even ironing the tip, it's going to hold down very well. You can see what I'm having at that edge of the tip. You can see how smooth that side is. That's very, very, very important. You can see that. You can see what I'm having. So what I'm going to do, so I'm going to do the same thing here also. Just turn it to the front, turn it to this side, and you're going to place in your fusing. Make sure you get to that tip. That's very important. I'm going to cover it. You can see. You can see that just iron it all the way down so you can see what we are having You 
can see what we are having so let me turn it to the front you can see what the front looks like all these ruffles that you're seeing at the edge they just need a steam iron after good ironing is going to be very very smooth so you shouldn't be shouldn't have issue with that so you can see what we're having in the front so far so the next thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to weave these edges it is very important before stitching before stitching the back panel i will need to like weave this edge so i weave that edge you can see what i have the edge will not be obvious because there's no gum on the edge so it's going it's not going to be too obvious in the front it's only the gum side that will be able to reflect so the next thing we are going to do now is to cut out the under collar so let me just cut that and show you guys the folding and how to apply it but if you want to use another color if you intend to use maybe like uh, a black or a a red any color you want to use you can this way you're going to apply the lapel you wanted to use right i believe you guys can do whatever design that you look you know like you guys we have a white which is the table that is displaying inside here so if you use a black if you put red that's what is going to show in the front but this one i'm using exactly the same fabric for the under color so i believe you guys understand that so in order to cut that i'll be going uh, deeper by 14 inches because it has to like go more than the space in between so i'll be cutting 14 inches so this is the fabric i'll be using I'll, I'll be cutting 15 inches so that i'll be able to like weave it as well so i'm just going to cut out 15 inches on this one so after cutting out the 15 inches so now depending on what you want to do here in case you want to pipe your neck first you can pipe your neck now then put your under collar under it or you can put your under collar on now and pipe both the neck and the under collar together so that the left side will overlap your uh your piping i hope you guys understand this so on this one i'm going to put the under collar first then i can pipe it together but you can do whichever you want right so now i'm going to put inside the under collar so I'm going to get my center point. You can see that. I'm going to get my center point. Then I'm going to fold it. So after folding and getting my center point, I'm going to put gum in between. I'm just going to put the gum in between. I'll be using just two aiming gum and I'm going to fold it back and I'm just going to iron it after ironing it you can see what i have just simple like this i have my under collar so the total wideness of the under collar is just going to be like um just like three inches just uh, sorry just like two inches or even 1.5 so on this one i'm going to stitch from the down part all the way to the top so i believe you guys can see so i will not weave the top part so i'll be i'll be leaving like two inches maximum or 1.5 so let me trim it and show you guys so this is what i'll be having and you can see the top part you can see the top part that i did not weave the top part because i'll be putting an a lapel uh, like the piping of the neck on that area right that's why i did not weave that place so i'll be taking this to the sewing machine now and i'm going to show you guys the process of joining it so i'm going to start my stitch from the top all the way down then and stop it where i want to stop so let's go to the sewing machine and do that so from here on the sewing machine the first thing i'll be doing now is from this side in which the stitch is going to start from this side as you can see or from the from the uh right hand let me zoom backward a little bit so that you guys can see okay so from this side this is where the stitch is going to start from 
So first, I'm going to start my stitch on this side. This way, I want it to stop. So I, I want this to stop at a total of, let me, I want this to stop at a total of seven inches, right? So that's where I'm going to start my stitch from. So from here, I'm going to start my stitch from here. I'll be stitching at the tip of the fabric itself. I'll be stitching at the tip, so I want you guys to pay good attention. You can see that. You don't need to rush yourself, just take your time. Take your time to just stitch it and make sure your stitches are straight. You can see what I'm doing. So you can see what the stitch looks like i believe you guys can see you can see i'm stitching at the tip of the fabric itself so i stopped at the seven inches so the next thing we're going to do now is from here so i will start from here you can see that i'm just going to place it right here So I'm just going to stitch at the tip as well. So I'll be stitching this all the way down. Just take your time and make sure your stitch is straight. That's very important because the stitch is going to be obvious in the front. So you have to pay attention to that place. can see that take your time you can see that after you get to that area make sure you close this side I believe you can see it clearly you're going to close up that place you're going to stitch it straight you can see that just going to stitch it straight so i'm going to end it at where i started the first stitch don't forget that i'm going to end it at that particular point you can see i'm just going to cut out that side I'm going to cut out the back side also so you guys can see what we have so far you can see the results all you have to do is just to join your shoulder and pipe your neck then your design is ready you can see how smooth it looks so that's about it just pipe your neck and finish the outfit so if you like the video make sure you give it a thumb up this is the result we're going to have you can see how sleek that is give it a good ironing use a steam iron just just iron it and make sure it's smooth so this edge i'm just going to cut out the neck area that's where you're going to pipe so cut that side out and your pipe is going to go over your plaquette you guys can see that so just give it a good ironing join your shoulder and join your uh, and pipe your neck so if you like the video make sure you give it a thumb up and make sure you subscribe if you're yet to subscribe share it with your friend and that is all on how to do this simple plaquette so i will see you guys on another video peace
do have a lovely day see you in another video